Hi friends let me share an interesting case which had an intraoperative surprise which really caught me unawares this seemed to be a routine case nothing remarkable rex is done feco is easy the cortex is being aspirated now presently it seems absolutely fine time to put in the lens the lens is implanted into the bag the obd is removed time to close i am hydrating the side port incisions i thought the case is done and finished my assistants are ready with the next case hold on at this point i notice something unusual there seems to be this irregular margin at the pupillary border just below the side port entry i am not sure what it is the iris also appears elevated i am wondering is there something underneath the iris in this region i am going in with my bimanual cannula and trying to see what it is i am still unable to figure it out but i am convinced that all is not well here repeated attempts are made but still not able to identify the culprit finally I go in with the Sinsky hook and swipe it under the iris and lo and behold this nuclear fragment comes out It has those rough edges which were actually visible under the iris and these were the reason for the suspicion The fragment was emulsified eventually but the mysterious part was that it remained nicely hidden below the iris until the final stages of the surgery and was suspected just before closing the eye in fact just before removing the speculum retained small lens matter or one of the common causes of recurrent uveitis in the post op period this was one such very unusual case wherein a relatively big fragment hid under the iris and escaped attention until the last moments of the surgery well Let us rewind and try to find out when did this fragment reach this area under the iris. During this stage of emulsification, this quadrant flies out of the area and never comes back into the zone of emulsification. This is the piece which gets in behind the iris and usually the flow rate of the phaco machine attracts all the free particles in the anterior chamber towards the tip. But this fragment resisted this as it remained entangled beneath the iris. Often we see small tiny nuclear fragments hiding near the side ports but this was different this was something unusual and which i hadn't encountered so far the lesson from this case is to always keep a close watch until the case is finally over you never know what surprises us and when thank you hope this helps